Welcome to a new topic. In this topic, we're going to see what are the basic components of a CCTV system. Now, when you say basic components, it depends on what type of system you're talking about. Are you talking about PoE or are you talking about non-PoE or an analog system? For this topic, we'll be looking at analog system. So we're going to see what are the basic components of an analog CCTV system. Uh, what we see here is we've got two types of recorders. Now with the analog system, you have to have a recorder. Well, that applies to IP system or any system. You've got to have a, you have to have some sort of recording device. Now this is what we call DVR or digital video recorder. Now I've got two types. Um, the only difference between them is um, one of them can have uh, four camera system, eight camera systems, so you can install eight cameras. The other one you can do sixteen cameras. Uh, we call this connection as BNCs. So when you see BNC input, um, it gives you a clue this is an analog system. Now if you look at output, it has a VGA output and this one also has a VGA output. So that means you can connect it to a normal monitor. And it has an HDMI output and this one also got an HDMI output. What that tells you is that uh, this can be connected using an HDMI cable. Um, it's got input. Now these inputs are audio inputs, um, so you could connect microphones. Now in this one, I can connect four audios, so that I can put four microphones. Um, in contrast to this one, I can put um, eight microphones. And um, then I've got a LAN connection, so I can connect uh, a Cat5 cable uh, to the router. That will enable me to uh, connect to the system using network. And the same applies here. Um, then I've got uh, two uh, green connectors, we call them RS485. Uh, these two green connectors are used uh, to control devices like PTZ. Um, with a big um, DVR, I do have quite a number of uh, green connectors uh, because it allows me to connect to an alarm system as well. So I can connect it to an alarm system and also I can connect my uh, PTZ cameras. And it has now USB input, so I can see two USB input here. Now, whereas this one is concerned, uh, so it has one USB input. So what that means is that I can connect a USB stick, and then I can do a secondary backup. So I can have a backup. If anything happens, then it records on a hard drive. Um, and if I want to take a backup, then I have to use a USB. Some of them do come with a uh, DVD writer, but it's very rarely you're going to find them. Nowadays, always uh, you find uh, USB uh, connections because it's quite convenient. And now we have uh, analog cameras. How do you know it's analog cameras? By looking at a camera, you will never know it's analog or digital camera. But if you look at uh, the connection, it kind of gives you a clue whether it's analog or digital. And if you look at it, that's a BNC. So you could definitely say it's an analog camera. Um, that's where the video uh, will be generated. And then you connect a coax cable from there to here to transmit the video to the recorder. And that's your power supply. So then you can provide power to the camera uh, using a power supply. Now, the other component is that um, any DVR or NVR, whether it's IP system or analog system, you require power. So this is a power supply. Now, what the power we get in the UK is 240 volt AC. Now, that power needs to be converted into something like uh, 12 volt DC. So what this uh, box does, it converts the power from AC to DC. Now this one is for DVR. So when you buy a DVR box, you get this power supply. Um, all you have to do is you just have to uh, connect this one to the DVR. So the DVR can be powered. So even with a small DVR, it works with a similar principle. You need 12 volt input DC. Just connect it there and then it will power. And the other side of it, you're going to have a, um, a three core cable a plug point where you can connect this one to your power. Now I want to show you the power supply for cameras. Now, if you look at this box, uh, this is the box I would normally recommend. Uh, it's a power supply box for the camera. It comes with a lock, so you can securely um, lock this one. Um, and also, if you look at the box here, it has like two power supplies. Now this box provides power for at least eight cameras. 
So it has like two power supplies, two uh, transformers, um, powering four outlets. So you can see this transformer power four outlets, and this transformer power four outlets. And it's quite easy to understand because if one fails, you always have another one uh, to keep the system, keep at least half the system running. Um, how it works is you, you have to hardwire the main, so you need to know a little bit about electrical side of it, um, for example, which is neutral, uh, positive, uh, live neutral, and then earth. And so once you wire that one, um, it then gets 220 volts that comes here, and the boxes, they convert the 240 volt to 12 volt DC. And these boxes are compatible to 110 volt or 240. So it can work in UK, also it can work in America. Um, then you have easy glow fuse here. Now if you see that these all these fuse, uh, glass fuse, are all easy glow fuse. Uh, what that means is they are very so sensitive. Um, they normally 1 amp or half amp fuse. So if anything goes wrong, it's going to blow the fuse, uh, but then the rest of the cameras will be working. So that's the whole idea about having the fuse. Um, then also, it need, now you've got the set of keys, so obviously you could give the keys to the authorised person. Uh, so only the authorised person will have access to this power box. Um, the downside of this power box is that uh, these, as I said before, these glass fuses are very sensitive so that you can easily sort of blow them. So you have to carry spare glass fuses with you. The other thing, other downside um, is the size of this box. And if you look at it, it's almost um, almost like another electrical um, box. So it's a quite large box. So in a domestic environment, environment, you'll find it harder to find space for this box. And some people may not prefer a bulky box. So that is um, that's going to be a major challenge uh, when you come to boxes like this. But if it's a commercial environment. Um, no brainer, I would say definitely go for this box. Now what I have here is a normal power supply. Now the reason I'm showing you this power supply, if you ever go and buy a DIY CCTV system, um, you're not going to come across these boxes. Um, they always um, try to give you a power supply similar to this one, a normal power supply. Uh, sometimes it may look like a laptop type power supply, um, but it's not laptop power supply, obviously laptop power supply gives you 19 volt and these are 12 volt power supplies, okay. Um, so they also give you a, a splitter. So so if you look at the splitter, um, what it does, it takes the power, then you could now provide four cameras with 12 volt power. So what you do, you connect this one, the power supply, instead of connecting that to a single camera, you connect it to this splitter. So once you connected that, you then have the option of providing power to four cameras. Um, so that's an um, ideal solution for a smaller system, uh, especially when it comes to like DIY kits, they often use this. And what I see as a downside of this one is that once you connect it, if, if there's a problem with one camera, more likely you're going to lose all the four cameras because it's come from the same uh, as power source. The other problem I see is, I don't see this as a very credible, credible way to install uh, the CCTV system. Uh, the reason for that is it, it, it's not tamper proof. So people can simply come and then take this cable out um, and that's it, your camera's gonna stop working. Okay, what we are looking at now is a monitor. So obviously you need a monitor. Uh, the monitor needs to be connected to your recorder so that you can see the display there. Uh, when you come to monitors, uh, you can buy any type of monitors. Um, there are monitors uh, that are being uh, specifically manufactured for CCTV cameras. Uh, but in my opinion, I don't think there's no there's no necessary for you to buy expensive monitors. You could buy any monitors. Um, as long as a monitor can take 1080p resolution, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that should be all right. And the reason for that is that um, a lot of the cameras nowadays 1080p so the monitor that you buy just make sure the monitor is compatible to full HD which is 1080p now if that the case is fine also a lot of the monitors nowadays gives you an option to connect it via HDMI cable and that would be fantastic so you can simply run HDMI cable from your um, DVR to the monitor the, the other advantage is if you happen to have a microphone connected to these, um, as I mentioned to you before, and uh, these DVRs also allows you to connect microphones. So if you connect a microphone and if your monitor has uh, a speaker, then 
using HDMI cable would be the best solution because you, you, when you play back you can hear uh, the recorded uh, video and audio messages through one device. So that's going to be an uh, advantage uh, with HDMI input monitors uh, providing that they do have a speaker. Uh, apart from that there's not much about monitors um, as you go, you can also use TV. I've seen a lot of people using TV. It's a, it's probably a slightly expensive option, but you can still use TV if you want. Um, but what I would suggest is uh, whatever you use, if your cameras are full HD, make sure at least you buy a full HD uh, display. If not, you're not going to see the full potential of the camera. Now we're going to talk about connectors. Um, as far as the connectors are concerned, the most obvious one for a quartz cable would be BNC. Now. Since I'm using a crux cable, I'm not going to talk about Balan. Um, I'm just going to talk about uh, BNC connectors. I mean, another topic we'll talk about balance. If um, that balance are only used when you're using Cat5 cables. Um, so if you if you come if you talk about uh, different types of BNCs, the most popular one is the three-piece BNC. Now the reason for um, people to call this as a three-piece. Now if I open this pack, you would know it's an obvious reason. Well, it's got three pieces. It's got um, a ring and it's got a, a gold plated uh, pin. Then you also have a, the main body part. So that's the three piece BNC. They're very easy to install um, or easy to connect. And also it's very solid. Once you've done it, you don't have to go there. Um, you don't have to go back. You know definitely what you've done. Uh, it's not going to cause any problems. So that's a good one. Uh, and, and as far as the cost wise, um, they're not very expensive, they're very cheap. Uh, in UK, you're looking about 25 pence to 35 pence. It depends on uh, where you buy from and how many you buy. Um, then if I just put this three piece aside, um, you also have a twist on BNC. Now, if you look at that one, um, it's just one piece, but it's a twist on, um, kind of a screw thread, so you see that? Now, the advantage of this one is you don't need any crimp tool. All you have to do is just twist, keep twisting, and that's all it is. Uh, the disadvantage of this one is when you're doing it, it's very, very difficult to make sure that the um, outer sleeve or the copper mess is not grounding or it's not touching the inner core. And if it does, then you're going to have quite a lot of problem with video signal. And, uh, um, and they are a bit expensive compared to the three piece um, and they're not very popular. Um, I probably think this because uh, people want to sort of have, uh, want to install something and then feel and more confident about their work rather than you know just wondering whether I've done it right or wrong you know so I'll keep them on the side and you also have two pieces now if you look at this one you've got two pieces um, you've got the BNC and um, the only difference here is um, when, when it compared with three piece uh, this one has got the pin already uh, fit into the BNC uh, so you got the ring and the pin um, you could buy them they're pretty much similar price to your three piece uh, but again, three piece is the most popular one. So you have different types of uh, BNCs. This is all for uh, for your video signal. Then you got your um, DC lead. Now DC lead is direct current lead, and this is for your uh, power. So when you have a camera like analog cameras, I'm just gonna take this camera again. So what you find here is you find a BNC uh, female. And then also you find a DC uh, lead female. So once you connect plus and minus with the um, normally it's black and red. So the red will go to plus and the black will go to the minus. Once you connect the cable, you just connect it just like that. And then say if you've done the BNC, just connect the BNC and then you could lock the BNC, lock it. So that's one of the advantage uh, when you compare with Phono or Scrat or different types of uh, video connectors, uh, BNC has a kind of locking technique. So once you lock it, you won't come off. 